Good morning, class. So today we are going to enter the second subtopic of this chapter, the 6.2, which is about the graph of sine, cosine, and tangent functions. Okay, remember before this you were learning about how to find the value of sine, cosine, and tangent, and also you learn about the unit circle together with the different four quadrants. Okay, okay, so we look at the information given here. After doing a heart checkup at the hospital, the doctor will explain condition of our heart based on the result of the electrocardiogram. So we call this electrocardiogram. You can see the movement, the heartbeats over there. Okay, they can see from there which heartbeats is normal and which one is not normal. Okay. Electrocardiogram graphs have the characteristic of trig trigonometric functions, graphs. What are the characteristics? Do you have any idea what are the characteristics? Any idea right now? No. No. You have no idea. Okay. Don't worry. We will go through all the characteristics of the graph that you are going to learn. So we are going to move on. What are the characteristics of graph of trigonometric functions? So in this part over here, you are going to learn the function y equal to sine x y equal to cos x and y equal to tan 10x for one whole turn zero to 360 degree okay so for this one i'm going to go through using the geometry GeoGebra over here so that you can see clearly what happened to the graph when i move from zero to 360 degree okay so you can see from your book on page one at five this is the activity involved whereby they ask you to open the worksheet and then complete the table but i won't want you to do that lah. i'm just going to show you and later on you can see what is the characteristic of all the three graphs given okay let's go to this anyone have gone through this no no none of you huh okay so we are going to look at the first graph sign maybe some of you already know how does it look like sign it looks like the other way of the letter s so you see carefully when I move from zero degree over here, I move it up. You can see the drawing point on the right. Okay, when it becomes 20, uh, 30 degree, it goes up. 50 degree also goes up, up to 90 degree. Then it stops. You got to remember, how much is the value for sine 90? Any idea? You can press your calculator, you know. One. You have your calculator with you. So two. Okay, I show it to you. Yes, it's equal to one. So you can see sine ninety equal to one. What about sine zero? Zero. zero. Yes, it is equal to zero. What about sine one hundred and eighty? Let us go through all this first. Zero. 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 Sine two hundred and seventy. Negative one. Negative one. Okay, one more. Sine 360. Zero. Zero, right? So zero. you see there are three zero, which is zero degree, 180 degree, and 360 degree. Okay, we go back to the uh, GeoGebra. This one, huh? so you got to remember it is zero when it is zero degree, 180 and 360. But then when it reached 90 degree, it is one. So you can see it reached one over here. Okay, I move again, so it goes down, it's like a mountain, reach 180, becomes zero. When go to 270, it becomes how much? Negative one. Can you see that? Okay, and then when you move to 360, it goes back to zero. Okay, so these are the movement of the sine graph. Okay. So later on, you will have to know the characteristic when it intercept at x intercept, when it intercept at y intercept, where is the place? So from this graph, let us go through where is the maximum value when the x is equal to 90 degree? One. 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 Maximum value is one. How much is the minimum value when the x is equal to 270? Negative one. Negative one. one. That's the minimum value. This is the minimum value. Okay, now another question. Where is the intercept at the x-axis? Remember, huh? this is the x-axis. Huh? 
180. 180. 180. 180. Okay. Correct. Any more? 360 and 0. Yes, correct. And 0. So these are the y in the x intercept. Okay. What about the y intercept? Where is the y intercept? Any idea? Zero. zero. Correct. It cuts through zero at y here, right? So the y intercept is actually the zero degree, the zero there. Lah. Okay. So now I'm going to reset. We are going to go through the second graph. Second graph, the cosine over here, it looks like U shape. But then or on, uh, I'm going to start from zero so that you can see when it start from zero, cosine, how much is it? Okay. Now you see cosine. Zero. Can you guess how much is cosine zero? One. Yes, it's equal to one. Therefore, you can see the graph here. When I move, it's going to start from one here, the drawing point. So when I move around, when it reach 90 degree, it becomes zero. Okay, when I go through again, it goes down to 180 degree, it becomes negative one. When I move again to 270 degree, it becomes zero. Move again, it becomes one. Okay, now my question, you listen carefully. Uh, when do the graph of cos x has a maximum value of one? Zero and, zero and 270. Oh, sorry, and 360. Yes, correct. When the value of x is equal to 0 degree and also 360 degree. Okay. When is the cosine graph is going to have a minimum value? 180, 180. degree. Very good. When it is equal to 180 degrees. So how much is the minimum value? Negative, Negative one. one. Negative one. Correct. Okay. Another question. Where is the x-intercept of the graph? One, one and eh, uh, 90 degree and 270. Very good. That is the x-axis, the intercept at the x-axis. Okay, what about the y-intercept? What is the one. value? Correct. The value of the y-intercept is equal to 1. Are you okay, class? Yes. Okay, now we yes. move on to the third graph. Huh? Also, I'm going to start with zero so that you can see clearly. Okay, tangent. So, you see when I restart over here, where does it go? Okay, tangent. It goes up. Undefined. Okay, when I move down, you see where is that? It start from downwards. 180. Okay, which means 10 180 is equal to zero. Okay, I move again. It goes straight up. And then one more from 270 degree, it will go. Can you imagine? It will start from down there to 360. Okay, so this is the tangent graph. Okay, in the tangent graph, if you notice carefully, it won't reach 90 degree. Okay, same with the 180 over here, this line, it won't reach 90 degree, it won't reach 270 degree, and then this one over here. So you take out your calculator, can you try to press 10, 90 degree? 10, 90 degree. Math error. Ah, so math error means it is undefined. So there's no such value for 1090. But then if you press 10, 0, you are going to get the value, all the value given from that graph, lah, meaning that all the value over here you can get. Okay, now we are going to go through here. It's 12, 13 right now. I'm, I'm going to make it fast. Huh? So these are what you have learned just now. Huh? I've already asked you. This is a sign graph. It looks like an edge shape. You got to remember the shape. You got to remember where is each of the point. Huh? So it has a maximum value of one when x equal to 90. This is the one. And then the minimum value of negative one when x equal to 270. Okay. And then the x intercept is at 0, 180, 360. The y intercept also zero. 
Okay. So I continue with the second cosine. So this is the one that you have known. Everything is the one that we discussed just now. You got to remember the shape together with the angle. When does it becomes zero? So it is zero at 90 degree and also 270 degree. Okay, last one we look at 10x. Okay, so you see the maximum value for 10x, it goes up, it's infinity, infinite. And the minimum value down here is negative infinite. Okay, the intercept of x axis is at x equal to zero. So you can see it intercept x here 180 and 360 this part and then the y intercept is zero okay intercept y axis lah, at zero and then the value of 10 90 10 270 are undefined you got to remember the value here 90 270 these two is undefined remember this two is undefined for 10 okay so do you understand what is the meaning by undefined value Yes. Yes, huh? And then why are 1090 and 10270 undefined? Because it is something like the value that you cannot find is outside the domain. So I've already searched online. You, I simplified it for you. Huh? You can see the meaning of undefined value huh? for those who don't understand. Undefined value is a condition where an expression does not have a correct value. For example, square root of negative 9. You can press square root of negative 9. Okay, is it correct? Do we have an answer for this one? Square root of 9, we know it's 3, right? Square root of negative 9 is undefined. Math error. Ah, math error, undefined. Okay, and then undefined is a term used when a mathematical result has no meaning. Okay, and more precisely, undefined values occur when an expression is evaluated for input values outside of its domain. Another example, for example, I use 1 divided by 0. 1 divided by 0, can or not? It divides by nothing outside the domain, Cannot. right? Cannot. Yes. Cannot. be fine. Unless you use 0 divided by 1. 0 divided by 1, can or not? Can or not? Can. Yeah, zero. Zero. Can, yeah. But then we cannot divide by nothing. One cannot be divided by nothing. So it's undefined. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Yes, huh? Okay, I move on huh? because later on you are going to have your additional maths, right? So this is the exercise that you need to do huh? as self practice 6.2a. I want you, you previously, I, I asked you not to copy the question, right? But this one, I want you to copy the question, the one that in, involved the graph. Okay, these three, you need to copy question. Okay, I make it precisely for you. This one, you need to copy question. This one for sure, lah, you need to sketch. So, um, up to you whether you want to copy this line or not, up to you. And then question number three, question number four, question number five. So, the one that I want you to copy the question is number one and number five, for sure. You need to copy the whole thing, including the graph, because I need you to familiar with it. Next time, they will give you some part of the graph only and they will ask you to guess what graph is that. For example, this one, they will cut it out, something like this. They will ask you to guess what types of graph is this. They will cover up this side. Um, then you have to determine which graph is that. Same with the sign over here. There are a lot of ways to give you a question. Uh, they cut this down. What types of graph is this? So you got to know where is the intercept of the x-axis and so on for each type of the graph. Are you okay, class? Yes. Do you have questions so far? No. Madam, can you repeat the homework again? Okay, the homework is only 6.2a. So the one that I want you to copy the question, including the graph, is question number one and number five. But then you have to do everything, do all of this. Clear? Clear. Clear. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Okay, one more thing. If you look at your schedule, um, sorry, uh, I take about two minutes time. If you look at your schedule, this one is your schedule. You can see this is our time slot right now for mathematics. Down here, there are a little, little words given. Mata pelajaran berikut perlu mengadakan kelas PDPR di luar sidang. So we already set 
mathematics 30 minutes per week right here this part here which means it's from 2 30 to 3 o'clock so in this time this week i make it easy for you next week we might have um, another meeting or how we will see lah. this week i make it easy for you during this time you're going to do your homework okay if you have any question you just text me or whatsapp me using telegram or whatsapp that's all so we consider our pdpr at this slot here are you okay yeah. Uh, but yes. I see you la. Have you eaten your lunch? No, no, not really. Yet. Already, some not yet. Very yeah. pity, right? Because you only have five minutes rest. Five minutes rest. Is uh, all the teacher only let you go five minutes before or exact time? No. Depends, la. Depends, huh? Yeah. If there's nothing else, the teacher just finishes it up. Oh, oh, that's good. I thought everybody is going to end up over here. Then you only have five minutes rest. That's very pity. Okay, but for my class over here, you see two period, only one hour. Huh? So for this Thursday, this Thursday only, I think I will have to make full use of it. Huh? Unless it comes to the Tuesday, I have one and a half hour. That will be easier for me to handle you all. Okay, so I'll stop here today. You go back home. I go back home. You're already at home. You need to do the exercise. Finish it. We will discuss in the next lesson. And remember to turn in your work in the GC. Okay, class? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay bye. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank